First off, I want to thank Howard Brent for allowing us to have our soon to be called an annual Theater Road Red Bear Hunt at oh, Panther Track. Yeah. I want to welcome Simon Roosevelt, President of Theater Road Red's great great grandson. I want to welcome Huger Foot. That is Huger Foot's great great grandson that sat on the log with his great great granddaddy when they decided to go back to the camp to get a bite to eat. But it was when they were gone that whole Collier ran the bear by the very log that he told the president to stay there till he got back. He grabbed his rifle, hit the bear upside the head, busted his skull, stunned the bear, took his lasso, lassoed the bear, tied him to a tree, called the president on the horn to get in here quick, there's your bear, cause the president refused to shoot a tethered bear. And from that a cartoon came, and from that cartoon of a little bear cub, that they called Teddy's Bear became known as the Teddy Bear, and that was the beginning of the ideal toy company. That's right, yes, I remember in the Hope Collier and Teddy Roosevelt Bear Hunt, and uh, we're kind of just gonna do it as a whole cut. We had a great time last night, fixing to start this morning off, hunting the wild hog. This belonged to my grandfather. The first Harley Midcalf. He was on the 1907 bear hunt with Teddy Roosevelt. He made this in his, in his uh, blacksmith shop on the farm, and, and uh, you can see you can still see the indentions from the rasp made it out of a mule rasp. Yep. See those on the blade, and uh, the handle was about to come off, and so my father had a guy put another handle on it. He put two little dots of welding on there. If you watch the Antiques Roadshow, that, that would be a no-no. <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at the scramshaw pig on the end. You ready for some action today, right? I just like to cut the steak at doze. <laughs> we'll make it work. And about a little 60-pound sow will cook up just fine. Just right. <laughs> that one you can carry home with. That sounds good. Uh, we had one not long ago just put around on the grill. Cooks all night cooking. All night. Right. <laughs> Been hog hunting with dogs and horses since 1990. We run uh, mostly cur dogs, yellow black mouse cur, catahoula, cross them with some bird dogs. They're just bay dogs, but they will kick, you know, on smaller hogs. The plan today is we're going to turn the dogs loose and head kind of southeast in there to some thicker country. The hogs like to be in the thickest, nastiest stuff you can find, and we plan on getting in there and trying to find some. Okay. I found one, y'all passed. I know it. I don't know what happened. We uh, the dogs went one way and we went another. Is that the hog or no? That's, that's a hog. hog. Yeah, that's a hog. Sows and shoats and stuff like that are gonna squeal and you know dogs have got him caught when they're squealing. You can ride in there and not have to really worry about a bad hog, but big hog's gonna back up and fight, and he may run a ways, and he's gonna back, you know, he's gonna just stand his ground, most big hogs are. Hogs are a nuisance animals, but this is fun. A lot of people get together. It's not like sitting on a deer stand where you, you know, having to be still and all. This is a group. You can look around here and see all the people and it's just fun, you know. Connecting with my ancestors is what it feels like, you know, and all of us together doing it is, is a profound thing, really. Well, I've always been a TR fan and, and since I was a little boy, and I think most of us as little boys that ever had a teddy bear or, uh, or, or any child that's had one realizes this is where it started, very near Oldwood, Mississippi. We're celebrating that great event we think is part of Mississippi's rich history and just enjoying the great outdoors today.